Hey guys, Sarah Oates here with Divi Space and today we're going to be looking at the newly updated Page Builder Everywhere plugin. I'm super excited about this because Page Builder Everywhere is a plugin that I already use on heaps of my websites. It allows you to use the Divi Builder to be able to edit the headers and the footers without having to use any custom code or anything like that. You can just build your layout and then you can tell it to go into the header or above the header or below the header or in the footer or in the sidebars and it's a fabulous plugin. But with this new update, you're going to have heaps of control around what you want to show and where you want to show it. So say you've got a membership site and you want to show one menu bar or one whole big header section for your, your members and then a different one for people who are visiting. Well, you can do that with the new Page Builder Everywhere plugin. You can also show, say you want to have like a different section that sits below all of your blog posts. Well, you can have, you can make up your own little section in Divi and then you can say, I just want that to show on all the blog posts at the bottom of it. Or maybe you've got a promotion going on for a shop, so you can make up a promotional bar at the top and you can have that show just on the product pages or just on a specific page, just on the main shop page, for example. So that you've got all this control now around where you want to show different modules that you're creating. The other thing you've got control around is your 404 pages, your archive pages, and also your search result pages. So to this point, if you wanted to edit those and have like a custom header, you could do it. There's plenty of tutorials around, but you have to muck around with PHP to be able to do it. Now you don't have to do that. You just create what you want in the Divi Builder, you save it into the library, and then you tell it to show on all of the 404 pages. How cool is that? Now another really exciting thing about it is that you can actually start to put your own little layouts inside other modules. So think about things like the tab section or the slider section, or module I should say, or the, uh, the toggle. Those ones, traditionally, you don't have a lot of control around. Unless you're gonna muck around with a lot of CSS, you don't have heaps of control. But now, what you can do is you can create your own little layout. You can have like multiple columns and you can have videos and all sorts of things going on. And then you can just put that inside a slider or inside a toggle. Really cool and really exciting. So I'm really excited to show you through a little bit more about what you can do with the new Page Builder Everywhere plugin. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the power behind Page Builder Everywhere. So here we have a layout where we've done a bunch of different layouts to be able to show you just some of the things that you can do. So we've got here in this section, we have a slider, but then in the slider, we actually have some layouts going on. So instead of using the testimonial module, we wanted to create it looking a little bit different. And so what we've done here is made a section that has two columns and then has all of the content inside of that. And then we've just been able to make multiple layouts that we can then run through the slider. Coming down here, we've got some tabs. So inside tabs, tabs are often really hard to work with because all you get is full width text. And so unless you know a whole lot of CSS, it's really hard to achieve a look like this. But now you can just build out this whole layout with a Divi Builder. So we've got a half and half, and then we've used images um, and some text modules. We might've even used, blur that's a blurb module, I think. Um, and so that's all sitting inside a layout and then we've just put that layout straight into the tab. And again, we've done this with the other tab as well. I'm gonna show you the back end of this in just a minute also. Down here we've got a slider and inside the slider we have a layout which is showing the latest blog post as well as another image module. And so as you slide through, you can see that it's showing up the next post and then the next post, which is great. All right, coming down to uh, toggles. So here we've just got four simple rows, text rows, but you could be a lot more creative than this. So you could put maybe videos or you could put call to actions in here. So imagine if you're trying to do a frequently asked questions section, you don't just have to have text in it now and you don't need the CSS to be able to do it. You just make a layout here and then you can place it straight into the toggle and then the toggles will work. For this example, we've just got the same one in each of them just to kind of show you how it works. And then we've got a tab section here. So this one actually has nesting. We've got a tab with three tabs or a tab module, I should say, with three tabs inside of it. And then each of the tabs inside that has a slider. And inside of each of the sliders, so there's three slides, and in each, side, each of the sliders, there is um, a three column shop module. So you can get really creative. You can nest inside 
multiple times. It's really exciting and it means that whatever your brain can come up with, an, with it as an idea, if you previously couldn't do it because you needed so much CSS, you may actually be able to achieve it now with Page Builder Everywhere. And then we've got a footer here. So this footer, we have one layout here sitting inside another layout there. And the other exciting thing to show you is that this footer is only showing up on this one page. So this is using the conditional logic. So I'm just going to show you through that. So if we come over here to the widget area, you can see here in the footer area, we have that layout. So we made up that layout. It's all set to go. And then inside, so we say here, what would you like to show? So you pick the layout. So this shows all of your DB library. Pick the layout that we want to show and then you click this button here of where and all of a sudden you can have a whole lot more control so now you can say i want it to display only on this particular page that page that we had just there but you can go further than that so you could say i want something to display just on shop pages so say for example you've got a sale right and you want to put it just on the shop pages well at the moment if we go to a shop page so this is a standard shop page I'll just reload that one there. As you can see, it's just looking pretty WooCommerce out of the box. We're using the Divi Builder here, which Divi now allows you to do, to use the Divi Builder in the description. So that's great. But that's all the control you have over the shop page at the moment. But now what you can do is you could make, say, a banner to say that there is a sale going on. So if we get the Divi PB widget, put this, say, below the header. And then what we want to do is choose the library item. So let's come down and find the library item that we want to show. We're going to remove the title and we're going to say where. So we want this to display on post type. And then we can choose where. So we're going to say product. So the other options that you've got, um, you can put it on particular pages. You can um, show it just for people who are logged in versus logged out. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say we want it to show on product pages. And then when we reload this product, we're going to see our banner shows up, which is really exciting. So you can have it above, you can have it below, you can have it all the way at the bottom of the content. So this is where if you had a blog post, you could make like a subscribe module and you could have it show up below all of the content on that, but only for blog pages. So instead of that, instead of post type products, you could do projects or you could come over to page and here you have the option to show it just on posts. Um, or this is the exciting one. So 404 error page. So this one here, if we come down here, we've got below the header, we've got 404 section layout. So we've put a 404 section layout, but it is showing only on the 404 error page, which means if we come over to our 404, so here I've just put in a random afterthought, and now it shows up a beautiful 404 page. So before you had, had to use PHP to do that, now you can come up with any layout for your 404, or you can make a header that's then gonna go just on your archive pages or your search result pages. That's really powerful. Now the next thing I wanna show you is the product pages. So at the moment, as I said before, you've only got control around the description area. This text up here, you don't have a lot of control around, but now with Page Builder Everywhere, you can create great layouts like this. I just wanna get rid of that bar for a second. So all we're gonna do is come in here and delete it out. Let that save and go back over and refresh this page. All right, so now you can see we've been able to make this beautiful layout here that's filling in the description box. So all we've had to do is make a layout and then I'm gonna show you exactly how that works. It's really simple to be able to put any layout inside another module. So I might actually come over here. So this is the back end of our main page that we've been working on. And if you want to put in um, a new layout that you've got, all you need to do is come make a new section. You can use a text module, you can use, as we've said before, you can use toggles, you can use tabs, anywhere that has the text part of it in it will allow you to put it in. So here you can see we've got this text box here and now you've got this new little icon. All you need to do is click this icon and then you can go and find the layout that you're wanting to put in. So if we come here and we wanna put in, um, I don't really know which one, I'm just gonna grab one and chuck it in there. You'll see it shows it up like that now. And then we can click save and exit. And if we go preview this page, I'll show you what that's done. It is that easy. So now we can see that that was our new section that we've just added in. So we've just added it into a text module, but like we've said, you can add it into anything that has a text box. So you can add that into 
um, accordions, you can add it into the full width uh, header module, you can add it into a text module, toggle, uh, testimonial, anything that has that text box, you're going to be able to put that straight into there. So you're going to be able to be super creative. But then of course, you've got your products as well. So if we go into one of our products here, All right, and then we come into this one here. I'm gonna show you exactly where that is. You can use the visual builder as well um, to be able to do this, but you won't have that little icon. So I'll show you a workaround for that if you're in the visual builder. So we're just gonna let this load here. Now this is that one, that design that I was showing you over here. This is this one here. And I'll show you, you've got it right down here. So in the product short description, till this point, the only place you can use the Divi Builder is in this big description section, which sits below it. But if you don't wanna use that section, now you can use the Divi Builder for your description section. And again, you've got that icon there. But if you're in the Visual Builder for any of this stuff, what you can do is you go into the module, whatever it is, it's not gonna work in this particular one, but if you go into the text box you will then see that you've got this here and you can actually see which of the modules it is here and you can edit it in the visual builder as well but for the sake of this video i'm just going to show you in the back end and we will make more detailed videos in the future so this is some of the power of the things you're going to be able to do with page builder everywhere i can't wait to see what people are coming up with because you are going to have so much control around being able to be much more creative with areas that you couldn't previously